Our cave dwelling ancestors worshipped these powerful beasts as demigods. And centuries ago, the bison roamed the plains, the length and breadth of Europe, at ease with man and nature. From the Atlantic coastlines of what is now Spain and France, to the wide open territories of greater Russia, they lived and died, until they were hunted to the point of extinction. At the beginning of the century, all that was left of the European bison, a close relative of the American buffalo, languished in zoos. By 1927, there were just 48 animals left, the lone survivors of a species that's remained unchanged since the Ice Age. A small breeding center near Moscow in Russia is at the forefront in the ongoing battle to save them. Its director, Dr. Irina Belyarusiva, is committed to preserving this unique breed, quite distinct from its American cousin. Of course, a big difference. If you were to put them side by side, you would see the difference. As for genetic difference, bison as a whole all started from one bloodline. They then divided into three different groups. While the Asian bison no longer exists, the American buffalo population has exploded with the help of a series of government and privately sponsored programs. The Russian preserve has one family of American buffalo, perhaps acting as a reminder of what can be achieved. Since 1950, the buffalo, which was virtually exterminated by hunters in the 19th century, has grown in number from just 25,000 to 200,000. Not so their European counterparts. The battle here at the Priorsko Torazny center is far from won. There are only 3,000 European bison left today, and unlike the success story across the Atlantic, the numbers are dwindling. The lack of genetic diversity is the most serious problem. Every specimen is descended from just 12 animals. But war in the Russian Republic of Chechnya has shattered hopes too. Many believe a wild herd there has been slaughtered. They've been wiped out. What do you expect? If you can get 400 kilograms of fresh meat and there's none about, what can you expect? The Chechen fighters are suspected of doing only what prehistoric man did thousands of years ago. Except for man, bison have no predators. The bison of the Ice Age is no different from the beast of today. In an extraordinary quirk of nature, its evolution has stood still for 45,000 years. The great contemporary fear, though, is that it'll end up like the woolly rhino and the mammoth, extinct. At Moscow's Paleolithic Institute, visitors gaze at specimens of creatures that have, through their loss to mankind, attained almost mythic status. Few realize that unless resources are poured into preserving the modern-day bison, it too could be lost forever. The Russian government, under intense economic pressures, can ill afford to make the preservation of the European bison a priority. But without it, many they experts, like leading paleozoologist Dr. Galina Rotin, fear Europe's ago, largest mammal could end up as exhibits in a museum. Okay. But now they became lower in number. And it's very dangerous. We may lose them at all. These interesting and big animals might be lost for future generations of men. It's thought the climate of the great Russian hinterland that's remained the same for thousands of years may be behind the bison's quirky non-evolution.